In this video, I'm going to talk about a Chrome extension, which is a game changer in the world of privacy and security, and it's called SquareX. So SquareX has a technology where they create disposable browsers and file viewers. So you can use these to open any links or files that you want to view, and you can do this without the fear of getting infected by malware or spyware. So what they believe, as it's written here, is stay fearless online. So basically how it works is that you have to install the extension, and once you have it, you can open any link or file on their cloud, and your laptop will be safe. So in this video, I'll show you how to install this extension and how to use each one of these features in detail. So let's get started. So now I've come to my browser and I'll show you how to install this extension. And one thing I forgot to mention is that this is completely free to use. All you have to do is sign up and then you can start using the features. So first, we have to go to the website. So just search for SquareX and you can install this on any browser which you have. Now click on the first link, then scroll down and just click on Add SquareX to Chrome. And from here to install it, just click on Add to Chrome. Then this is what access they'll have. And if you're fine with this, just click on Add Extension. And now it'll get downloaded in your browser. So now it's already downloaded. And one thing that you should do to save time is just pin it. So just click on Extensions that's on the top right. Here you'll find SquareX and you can just pin it by clicking on this pin icon that's here. And as you can see, SquareX has come here. So now it's pinned. And the next thing we have to do is sign up with our account. So I'll just click on this icon that's here and click on Get Started. After that, we can create our account with Google, Twitter, or Microsoft, or you can enter your email ID. So I'll just sign up with Google, then I'll select the email ID, and now it's done. We've created our account and we can start using the extension. So the first thing we should do is again, click on this icon that's here. And these are all of the features in SquareX. And I'm going to show you each of these four features in great detail. So let's start with the disposable browser. So if you're someone that's concerned about your privacy online, then this is your go-to solution. So how it works is that this browser is running on SquareX's data center and a view is projected to you. So because of this, your device can't be harmed by any of the online activities that you do. And then you can burn this disposable browser and then all of the history and cookies will be deleted forever. So it's as simple as that. Now I'll show you how it works. First, you'll have to select the location where you'll want to browse. If you click on this arrow, you'll see the different options. So for now, they have these countries. So I can just put US East, and then click on Start. So as you can see, this is the disposable browser, and here I'm on Chrome. So here I can go to a new tab and just search for anything, and I'm only given a view over here because all of this is actually done on SquareX's cloud. And because we selected US, it's basically like a VPN where the location is US. So if I just say weather right now, as you can see, it's giving me the weather for Richmond, Virginia. So like this, you can search for anything and open any links which you think are suspicious. And they also have some controls on the bottom right. So if I click on this, then here they've given the location and the time remaining. So each disposable browser lasts for 10 minutes, but once it's done, then you can extend the session further. And another thing I forgot to mention is that you'll have extremely fast speeds on this. So if I just do a speed test, as you can see, I have more than two GBPS speed. So this is basically how the disposable browser works. And I'll show you how to dispose this off when you're done. So to do this, again, click on the square X icon on the top right. After that, click on the cross next to US East. And now the session has been disposed. They've said that all the browsing history has been deleted and we can start a new session if we want to. And now I can just close this tab and it's done. So that was how the disposable browser worked. And now I'll show you how to use the disposable file viewer. So the file viewer is another great tool to open documents and files without downloading them. And just like the browser, the file viewer will open the file in a cloud and your screen will only have a projection. So again, your computer will be 100% protected from the contents of the file. Now I'll show you how to use it. 
Again, click on the square X icon on the top right. And here, next to Disposable File Viewer, just click on Start. So again, it started a new session. And here, we can drag any documents that we'll want to open. So like I mentioned earlier, we have two options. One, we can open files which are already on our PC. Or otherwise, if there are files online that we'll want to open, we can do that as well. So first I'll show you how to open pre-downloaded files. I'll just click on browse files. Then here I've selected the file and I'll click on open. And here I can view the file. So this is how it works. I can just close it by clicking on the X. And now I'll show you how to open files online. So I've come to a new tab and let's say I want to open this PDF file. Then I have to just right click, then click on open in Square X and select the location. So this time I'll select Singapore. And here, as you can see, it's opened this PDF file for me. And if it looks safe, then I can download it onto my PC. So they've kept this really simple and it does the job that it has to. And again, at the bottom right, you have these controls. And even this file viewer lasts for 10 minutes. And after this, you can extend the session if you want to. Now again, to dispose of the session, click on the square X icon on the top right. After that, next to File Viewer, just click on Dispose. And the same way as before, the session has been disposed. Now I can close the tab and it's gone. And now I'm going to show you the last feature and that's a disposable email. So basically, if you don't want to use your actual email address, then you can use this temporary one which is generated by SquareX. And the working is really simple. Again, click on the SquareX icon on the top right. After that, Next to disposable email, you'll have a few options. So this is a temporary email ID which are given. You can regenerate it if you want or otherwise you can edit it by clicking on edit that's here. So you can copy this email address by clicking on this button that's here and it's copied. So now I'll use this email ID and show you how it works. So here I've come to this blog and let's say I want to subscribe. Then I can enter my email ID over here. So I've just pasted it. And then I'll click on subscribe and it's done. And as you can see, I've got a notification from SquareX. So if I just click on it, then here it's opened the email for me and I can go through this. Then if you want to go to your inbox, click on the SquareX icon that's here. And after that, next to email, you'll find the inbox option. And as you can see, I only have one email for now, but if I keep adding this email address on different sites, I'll keep getting more and more emails. And now coming to the last feature, which is smart integrations. So this is an email integration that's designed to help users open an email without letting email trackers know about this. So to enable it, just click on this bar. And once this is done, we can go to Gmail. So let's say I want to open this first email by chess.com without letting the trackers know. Then I have to just right click on this and click on preview in enhanced privacy mode. So now it's opened a new square X tab. And as you can see, they've said that this is an enhanced privacy mode. And here I can see the entire mail. So this is basically how it works. These are the four features and let me know down in the comments, which one you like the best and if you have any questions. That's it for today. Goodbye.